Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. Today we're going to be talking about place values. Place values are hugely important when it comes to describing how big a number is. So for example, if I have the number 789, I'm essentially describing how big of number I have because I'm describing how many hundreds, tens, and ones are in that number. Now a little bit about uh, place values so that you have a better understanding of how they work. Uh, primarily, we use the Hindu Arabic system, which takes the digits 0 through 9 and then groups them by powers of 10. The location, or what we say the place, of the number really determines the group's value or how many, uh, or what group we're actually talking about. So again, that's why we're looking back at a number like 789, and just the fact that the 7 comes before the 8 really determines that it's in a, a much larger place value, it's in the hundreds place rather than the tens place. Now to make this idea a little bit more clear, you can think of taking a number and really breaking it down into those individual groups. So again, here I have 789, and you can see that I have 7 groups of 100, I have 8 groups of 10, and then I just have 9 single ones. Now as you get into much bigger numbers, we essentially start using more uh, groups of 10 to really you know, describe what we have. So here I have the number 2,300,046,791. Uh, and you can see that every single number is in a different location, so it corresponds to a different group. The 2 is in the millions, the 3 is in the hundred thousands, the 4 is in the ten thousands, 6 is in the thousands, 7 is in the hundreds, 9 is in the tens, and 1 is in the ones place. And we could even build larger numbers beyond this, and I'd simply have to identify more place values. So I could have like a 10 millions place, 100 millions place, all the way up into the trillions and billions, you know, and really just keep going. So again, the key is by looking at where that number is located to see what place value it's actually in. Let's do a couple of examples so you get a better sense of how this works. In this first example, we just want to list the place value for each digit in the number 6034. So let, let me go ahead and just list out these digits. We have a 6, a 0, a 3, and a 4. And we'll list out what place that they are actually in. So we always can start off here on the right side, and that's always going to be our ones place. And then we can bump up from there to see what we get. So starting with the 4, we're in the ones place. Then we're in the tens the hundreds, and the six would be in the thousands place. So even though we read the numbers from left to right, it's often easier to identify them from right to left. Let's start with that bottom. We will say that it is in the ones place. The three is in the tens place. Then I have the zero in the hundreds. And finally we have the six in the thousands place. Perfect. Now you can identify all of the digits and what place value they're in, or you can actually just grab individual numbers out of it and just identify their place. So let's do just one more example so that we get a better sense of what this place value is. Uh, for this one, we're going to identify with a place value of specific numbers in the number 38,700,124. So specifically, I want to know what place is the 2 in, the 7 in, and then the 3. And again, we'll look at this number, but we we'll really think of looking at it from right to left. So I have the 1's place tens, hundreds, then I've bumped up to the thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, bump up a little bit more, now I'm in the millions, and finally the ten millions. So this first number here is the two, and the two looks like it's in the tens place. Perfect. All right. My seven is way up there, so it's past the thousands, ten thousands, it's in the hundred thousands. And finally, we have the 3 way at the end there, so it's past the millions. It's in the 10 millions. And there you go. There you can identify uh, how big a number is by looking at the digit and where it's located. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.